See, once you know the concept of ETF, exchange traded fund, it become easy for you to understand what is this Bharat bond exchange traded fund also. Okay. Now, first important thing is that okay, they can either ask a conceptual question or they can ask a current affair question. Okay. So, in order to understand exchange traded fund, you should know mutual fund. We discussed what is a mutual fund. Okay. So, exchange traded fund is similar to a mutual fund with a difference. So, in the why why how it is similar is that uh, exchange traded fund collects money from small investors. So, there will be a fund manager will be there. The mutual fund will be having a fund manager. Na? Similarly, uh, for exchange traded fund also there will be a fund manager. We call them as asset management company. So, there will be every exchange traded fund will be having a every exchange traded fund will be having a asset management company. What is that? From the term itself, you will just clear. It's a company which manages the assets. So, they are basically fund uh, managers. Okay. So, this asset management company, what they will do is, they will collect money or they will pool money from the investors and invest in different assets. Like how the mutual fund does. But here the difference is, mutual fund managers are active managers. Mutual fund managers or mutual funds are basically active funds. Why? Because the decision regarding where to invest, whether to invest in equity, whether to invest in bond or hybrid is decided by the manager. So, we call him as active fund manager or active fund. And because of his, so he since he takes the decision, and his decision decides the profitability of the fund. He takes a higher commission. And the term used for mutual fund is expense ratio. So, expense ratio is high. But in the case of exchange traded fund, he is not an active manager, fund manager. He is a passive. So, this is the difference between mutual fund and exchange. It is passive in the sense that his role is very simple. Already, the investor knows where he is going to invest. Investor knows where he is going to invest. He simply collects the money and is investing in a known asset. And based on that investment return, based on the return, he will charge a low commission compared to the mutual fund and remaining will be distributed to the investors. This is the basic difference. So, here I will I am, I will discuss in detail regarding this passive fund. I will give you some examples then you will understand more. So, the most important they can ask you a question what is the difference between mutual fund and exchange traded fund. The difference is mutual fund is active fund, exchange traded fund is passive fund. Whenever you come across this word passive fund, it is it is relating to exchange traded fund. Now, how will I will explain you what is this passive fund is all about. Okay, passive fund means okay, I will give you an example. You know about Nifty, no? What is Nifty? It's an index of 50, top 50 companies of National Stock Exchange. So, Nifty is what? It's an index. Nifty is an index, okay? So, what is the speciality of Nifty? It consists of 50 high volume transaction company means market capitalized company, 50 companies is there and based on and every day these 50 companies are traded na, in the stock exchange, in the national stock exchange and the share price of these 50 companies will vary in every day in seconds and based on the movement of these 50 companies, Nifty will rise or fall. This is, you know, we discussed in the capital market, okay. So, Nifty price fall or so price fall or rise based on the price movements of this 50 companies. And you see every day that there is news coming, okay. Nifty closes with uh, 200 points higher or at a low level or at mostly at higher level. Now, what an exchange traded fund will do, okay. It will invest, okay. So, basically what uh, exchange traded fund will do is that this asset management company, there will be an, an index will be there. There will be an index. There will be an index. So, more, the, the most 
important, the most important index, the most important exchange traded fund in India is index based exchange traded fund. The most common, the most common exchange traded fund in India is index based exchange traded fund. Now I told you exchange traded fund will always be linked with, will be linked to an asset. In exchange traded fund or even a mutual fund, it is linked to an asset. Na? It will, there will be an underlying asset will be there. They, they have invested in an asset. Okay. So here in the index exchange traded fund, what it will do is, what it will do is, it will invest, it will invest in, in index based exchange traded fund. First understand the concept. Okay. Then I'll, first understand what I am saying. Okay. Exchange traded fund, where it will do, most common index exchange traded fund is index. So Nifty is an index. So the India's first exchange traded fund is Nifty exchange traded fund. India's first exchange traded fund is Nifty exchange traded fund. So what this exchange traded fund will do now, there will be an index provider will be there. There will be an index provider will be there. So index will, so in the case of Nifty already there is an index is there, Nifty is there. Okay, this asset management company will purchase Nifty company share only. Nifty exchange traded fund, what it will do? Exchange traded fund is having money, na? This money will be invested in 50 companies of Nifty. How they will invest? According to the proportion of Nifty. See, Nifty has 50 companies. Reliance is there. Uh, Tata is there. So, different companies are there, na? And do you think the uh, TCS is there? Do you think all the companies is having equal weightage? No. There is a proportional weightage has been given. Reliance is given higher weightage. TCS is given higher weightage. Infosys is given higher weightage. On what cases they got higher weightage? What is the reason for higher weightage in FT? Capital. Market capitalization. Market capitalization. What is the criteria for uh, providing weightage in the case of Nifty or Sensex? It is market capitalization. What is market capitalization? The amount of fund raised. Okay, share price into the number of shares. Okay, so the, what is the criteria? We discussed. Okay, criteria is market capitalization. Right? That's the reason why Reliance is having higher share. Because Reliance is having one of the highest market capitalization. Okay, now based on, the, for example, if Reliance is having 15 percentage weightage. I'm just giving an example. Okay, Reliance is having 15 percentage weightage. TCS is having 14 percentage weightage. Like that. What uh, the exchange trade, Nifty exchange trade fund will do, out of 100 crore, out of 100 crore, 15 crore will be invested in Reliance, 14 crore will be invested in TCS, etc. So that is what I said, that the money will be invested according to the proportional weightage. Now the imagine the exchange traded fund raised is 100 crore. This 100 crore is invested. So what this, what this uh, uh, asset management company have done? Na? Asset management company have raised 100 crore. Okay. And this 100 crore have invested in, I am talking about Nifty Exchange Trader Fund. Have invested in this 50 companies. What they have done? They purchased, they purchased this 50 companies share in proportion to the weightage assigned by Nifty. So now this asset, man, what is the asset, this asset managed company is having 100 crore shares of 100 crore shares of this 50 companies. Okay, now, now it is easy for you to track its performance now. If the Nifty goes high, if the Nifty prices go high proportionally, your exchange trade fund value goes high. If Nifty goes down, proportional. So it is very transparent for you. It is very easy to you, for you to know whether your fund is effective or not. Just look into Nifty. Nifty ended positively. Gain. Nifty gone worse. Oh, loss. So it is transparent. But in the case of mutual fund, you don't know. In the case of mutual fund, when you know the value of your asset, net asset value, after the trading day closes, then only you will get to know. But here, in the exchange trade fund, any time during the trading day, morning, 
afternoon, evening, you will get to know the price of your exchange rate one because it is attached to this index. So, this is what is called as passive investing. You are not doing anything. Very simple. Anybody can do. Even I can also do. I will ask, I will form a company, asset management company. I will say that, okay, see, I am going to invest in Nifty companies, Nifty exchange rate fund. Those who want, come and invest. Nothing uh, financial knowledge is required. So, exchange rate fund, because of this, it is charging only very low expenses, expense ratio. Okay. So, this is the concept of, this is the concept of index based exchange rate fund. Similarly, the more, uh, second common uh, exchange rate fund is gold exchange rate fund. What is it? Gold exchange rate fund. What it will do? It will collect money from you and purchase gold, purchase gold. And you know that every day gold prices is varying. Now, as the gold prices increase, your gold ETF will increase. Gold price come down, gold ETF will come. So, it is uh, better to, if you are an investor and if you are buying gold, as a, buying gold, see, you purchase gold for two reasons. One as investment, second as to show to the world. <laughs> Every function, you will wear new, new jewelry. So, I am not talking about the second category. There are many people who purchase, you might have seen that the people buying bars, coins, etc. They are basically investors, okay. Actually, it is risky for you. Somebody come and steal the can. <laughs> Most, <laughs> every house, at least once in your lifetime might have heard a theft. A gold theft might have happened in your home. Either your relative or your commonly, your domestic servant. And you will be shocked to see, okay. So, that is a risk, risk is there in the case of key storage of gold. So, safe thing you do it in the locker, then that is another headache. Uh, so, better if you are an investor, just go to invest in and there is no making charges etc. It is easy to sell also. So, if you want, you can invest in gold exchange rate fund. So, in India, but in foreign countries, there are more complex exchange traded fund is there. That is not important for us. For us, what is important? To know what is this index based exchange rate fund and what is this gold. So, are you clear with this index based exchange rate fund? Now, things become easy for you. Only this concept is required. Now, you can answer any question on, any concept based question on in this based exchange rate fund. Okay. And now one more difference is there. One difference between one uh, difference between uh, mutual fund. Now that uh, understand the word what is ETF? It is a fund you know. It is a fund which has been collected from the investors. Now what is this ET? Exchange traded. So this is a security. Mutual fund is not traded. Mutual fund is not traded as an asset, as a unit. But exchange uh, traded fund which is a security is traded in the stock exchange. So, compared to mutual fund, exchange traded fund is traded. I told you, when a security is traded, there is an associated term is there. If it is traded, it is having high liquidity. So, which one is having high liquidity? ETF or mutual fund? ETF, why? Because it is, I told you now, this is how you have to uh, answer a question, concept. It is exchange traded. If it is exchange traded, it is having high liquidity because any time, any, any time, anywhere you can sell it. That is tradable means. You want to sell it now, you can sell it. You will get the cash. Okay.